get into just a little bit of a discussion about the property taxes. And this is this is actually spread out on a building in Washington, D.C., this whole thing. Taxes are what we pay for a civilized society. It's on the IRS building. <laughs> so, um, a few words about property taxes. Um, it's the tax people love to hate, and unfortunately, it's the primary funding sources of lo source of local government funding in New Hampshire. It's what uh, we all have to live with, as you know probably better than uh, most people uh, in your town. Um, there are some benefits from a some from a philosophy standpoint. There are some benefits to property taxes. It is a relatively stable source of revenue compared to other what's called other broad-based taxes like sales taxes or income taxes. It is uh, relatively stable. It hits those non-residents um, as opposed to um, an income tax, which would only hit your residents. Um, it's locally levied and administered, and there's certainly um, you know some some perceptions that taxes that are more locally assessed and collected or closer to the citizens um, are more reflective of the services they want than the state assessing a tax and deciding what goes back. Um, there can be an argument that property taxes finance property related services, your water, your sewer, your plowing, the you know quality of life with your library and those kinds of things. Property taxes are very difficult to evade as opposed to something like um, sales taxes, you know, so that you, you know where your town boundaries are. You know the property in your town. So they're very, it's very difficult to evade property taxes. And it promotes local autonomy. It reflects your local priorities. We often say that your budget is basically, it's your, it's your um, fiscal philosophy for the town. And that budget is, is what's, you know, going to equate to the property taxes. So the two of them are integral to each other. It's, it's your priorities and then paying for them, although sometimes some of your citizens may forget that what they voted for in March is now what they have to pay the bill for in December. 